Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you today some of my SPF favorites that I bring with me to the beach or the pool whenever I'm outside um, during the summer. And as a beauty editor, you definitely get OCD about SPF. You interview so many dermatologists and all they say all the time, SPF, your number one anti-ager. And so you definitely want to be totally covered. Um, so I get to try a lot of different ones. So I'm going to show you a few of my favorites that I bring with me to the beach. Um, first up, the one that I always take with me is the Garnier Ombrelle SPF 60 Faces. So the reason I like this one is because it's kind of a uh, light cream, and I really feel that I get a lot of great coverage with it. Um, and again, that SPF like 60 is crucial for your face because um, you know it's really easy to get burned on your face. It's the most exposed part, um, and definitely a place that a lot of people forget to apply SPF is on your ears around your hairline, your neckline, and the chest and decollete area. So this SPF 60, I put absolutely everywhere, all over my face. And I know um, Garnier Ombre, they're really trusted for their for their SPF. So um, I find I get really great coverage from this. And, um, you know, it, it also really absorbs well into the skin. So you don't, you can put a little makeup on top if you want to do that or a little powder. And the one that I use on my body, um, it's kind of a sidekick to, um, the Garnier Umbrella Faces. This is their SPF 30 um, lotion. So this one I really like for the body because it's got that more lightweight texture and it totally just blends in. It has a little bit more almost like a watery texture and it's super good to um, to blend in and I know that I'm getting like a lot of coverage with it. You just want to make sure that when you're putting on your SPF that you really rub it in well um, to get that you know ample coverage on your on your skin. So those are the two that I use like pretty much all over and a tip that I always like to give people is put on your SPF in front of a mirror. That way you know you're never going to miss a spot, you're never going to accidentally put it in your eyes and that's where you get that staying sometimes. So if you do it in front of a mirror before you put on your bathing suit, you know that you're going to be totally covered which is awesome. Um, and another one that I like to always um, talk about is the SPF 50 uh, from Shiseido, it's their Wet Force. This is so revolutionary in the sun care industry. The SPF actually improves when you're in water. So it actually can go up to about an SPF 70 coverage when it's wet. So this is an SPF that I really trust if I'm doing water sports all day or from outside. And I was actually on a trip not too long ago with a lot of beauty editors and they were all using this one sort of head to toe to make sure that they got the right coverage. And um, again, you want to make sure that you apply it well before you go outside so the SPF has time to sort of absorb and um, be active as soon as as soon as you're outside at the beach and if there's any touch-ups that I want to do throughout the day this is my go-to this is new from Neutrogena how cool is this this is the ultra sheer face and body stick sunscreen SPF 50 plus and this one is genius because it's um, you know you don't have to get sand on your hands when you're applying it so you just basically rub it on to your skin and uh, it's clear when it goes on so you know that it's really great for those touch-ups you can put it on your face put it on your body anywhere you might feel like you're getting a little bit too much sun and it makes reapplication so so easy because as beauty editors that's where we're always telling people SPF you want to have minimum 30 on but you do need to reapply it every couple of hours because when you're in the sun that actually degrades your SPF and so this one is awesome makes it no excuses for reapplying and um, again you don't get any white or anything blends in right away. Very, very sheer and lightweight. So those are my OCD SPF favorites to bring to the beach and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more.